Teachers are setting the stage that they have routines in place to talk about numbers, to really um, talk about how students are processing um, information and how they're getting their answer and how they're supporting their answer um, with evidence and by showing their work. What's your say? Like how it's three times 15, I thought the three switched with the five, make it 13 times five, and we get the same answer. Please make it 10 facts because five plus five is 10, seven plus three is 10. I have um, 59, who has six tens and six ones? I have 66, who has three tens and zero one? Our teachers are also um, engaging our students in cognitively complex tasks. Um, the mathematical practices are alive in their rooms and um, evident from just walking in and looking at their classroom environment and how the students are engaged with one another and with the math um, work as well. well. The way that he did it um, is he just switched the five and the four is what I'm thinking. Is that what you did to Marcion? Mm -hmm. 43 and then you would have three and put it and put it by three so it would be 13 minus eight and that would equal five and and what do we put next good job and how many more did we get we had five we got how many more one more and that equals how many um, you're going to see flexible grouping, so instead of just the teacher up front and being the leader, we want the teacher to be more of a facilitator, working in small groups, um, leading centers, um, all um, focused on the mathematical um, practices and going deeper um, in math and really understanding the process, not just the product, because we know both are equally important. Do you think that's not colored in yellow? Because there's only three fourths of the mile. Okay. So that's one whole four fourths. Okay, when you make sixes, you're going to make the line down the middle and then make an X. Okay. That's hard. Okay, now you got to count. Do all agree with that? Do you think it was a four? Okay, you got it. Okay, we're going to keep it a four for now, okay? Um, and then finally, you'll see different ways that students will practice. Um, and ensuring that they're really in control and owning their learning, that it's not um, them sitting back being spoon-fed the in instruction, um, the math learning, but that they are discovering it on their own, that they're making relevant um, connections to the real world, and that they're really owning that learning and learning from one another. Um, in the math classroom with um, the balanced uh, math block time should be a classroom where all, um, all students are also the teachers and they're learning from one another, learning new strategies, they're learning how to be efficient and fluent, um, and the, it's really has transformed what the traditional math classroom used to look like. Ed, Ro, I want you to write that addition sentence. I want you to write the addition sentence for what Adelie made. 